Welcome back to another episode of Grom's Finds. We are here in Garland, Texas. This is the unit that me and Rob over at Lunkers TV bought for how much? $870. $870. For a 10 by 15 that was dusty, it was nasty, but we found gold, we found collectibles, and to be honest, we didn't really go through the rest of the unit. We also released a video super late last night at 9.30. You have to check that video out. We went all the way to Waco, Texas. It was phenomenal. Go check that out. And the thing is, is we only spent $370 on it. One item well took care of that. So go check that out after this video. Last but not least, I told you that if you got 10,000 views and 1,000 likes on the video where we went in there and showed the 1700s clock and all the cool stuff, got to keep my promise. We hit 10,000. Actually, I think we are over 11,000, almost 12,000, and we're well over 1,000 likes. So part two of that video coming later this week. But for now, we have a huge problem. It's early. It is early. I can't stand it when units, facilities will not give you a code. Because when you buy units, it's like you're running and gunning. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You can't be waiting at the office. And who can feel me? Who in this business can feel <laughs> me? That every time you show up to a unit or to a facility needing to get in, and it's one of those ones that don't give you a code, they are never in the office, and they'll be back in three hours. Me and Rob forgot to put a lock on this unit. So this lock is, well, actually it has, I don't know how long it's been a lock. Yeah. Because, well, and look, so, oh wait, is this it? Is it 49 or 50? I thought it was 50. Well, this one doesn't have a lock on it. Ah. Is it 49? Let's make sure it's not 49. Oh no, there's a cylinder lock. Okay, that's ours. So they put a lock on it because we forgot to. So that was really nice of them. They open up at 9.30, so, uh, which is in like five minutes. Yeah. So okay. Gina's going to walk up to the office, go ahead and get them to come down here, take this lock off. We're going to throw this stuff in here, go through whatever boxes we didn't with you, figure out what we're going to sell, what we're not going to sell, and we're going to go straight over to the Dumpola. So maybe you can come along with us. It's fun just to break stuff out of the back of the vehicle. It is. So, it is fun. Stay tuned. Taking off the lock, baby. Uh oh. <laughs> this is <awful>. Sorry. <laughs> All right, y'all. So here's the dang deal. That poor man. So nice. You know what? They're so nice here. Really the older nice guy people. and him. So, y'all, that that was our lock. Did they put a sticker on? They must have put a sticker on it. Oh yeah, they did. Yeah. They put a sticker on it, and I didn't recognize that. So that poor guy. I apologize. Hope you heard that for making him walk around. So anyway, let's pop this bad boy up and see what we got. Here's fun. Alright guys, we've got a nice 10x15 clean, we have a, well, not 15, but 10x15, a 15-foot clean truck, and we have a nasty 10x15 unit. Alright, so we're going to y'all, so look, we still have quite a bit of stuff to go through. We didn't take anything. Look, here's all the flatware still in there. I don't think I showed you on our channel, like, everything. Some of the stuff was on Lunkers. I think you just released that video for like the second time. So look, we got three of these. Uh, I think they're all the same. I didn't even look at them. Rob looked at them, but I'm gonna assume they're all the same sets. So, you know, there's probably a good, you know, 150, 200 bucks right here. But there's a lot of little things in here. The sewing, like these scissors, like these are gold plated scissors, but these are probably, I don't know, these gotta be worth a few bucks because I didn't open any of these back ones because it was, ugh. look, there's so much rat poop in this. But look, I, I didn't check any of the bottom boxes or the top boxes and there's some boxes down here. So, hey, let me Gina, go ahead and get some of the trash on the unit and we'll put all the, the things we think you want to see aside and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so look, over here, I'm not keeping all the fabric because some of it's just nasty, but look, there's like older, like that's old fabric. It's just got some really cool, uh, pattern to it. So like, I'm gonna, I'm see like this one, I'm keeping this. 
Look, that's like old quilt. Oh, that is. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And this is just really cool fabric. So this, some of this vintage fabric I am keeping, and I will be putting it up in the marketplace. Here's some of the fabric I'm picking out of some of these boxes. I think I'm actually going to keep these because these are kind of cool. Old dress patterns. But there's a lot of these right here, these Japanese uh, like field clothing. There's uh, Some of the, the fabric I kept is like Asian. It's got tags on it, but old tags. So anyway, I think we'll keep all these, don't you think? Yeah, I think so. And we'll throw these in one big lot. Yeah, I'm not on my game when Lunkers is around, am I? No. Because <laughs> when it's me and you, I sniff out everything in you here. Y'all, look at that. Y'all may have seen that in the last video, I don't know, at some point with all the hoop pile and hollering going on. But... Come on. Man, I was hoping that was a safe down there. Look, we got art back here. Yeah, I totally forgot a dolly. I like to manhandle that fridge. All right, oh, so no. look, this is where we didn't get. So let's just... Go ahead and do this together real quick. Let's do a couple boxes together. Oh, look, that's cute. That is cute. That's a little singer. Oh, look at that. Very cool. Buttonholer. Guess what that was? Your nickname in high school. All right, I tried to get to this drawer the other day when we were in here, but it was like way too covered up. So let's go through it now, see if there's any little, little nuggets in it. Actually, I'm going to keep that in case the Chinese... Yeah. Blow up our electronics. <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, what the? <gasps> oh get my out goodness. Of here. Are you serious? It looks plastic. Think it is? Oh, yo. Is it real? No. No. I don't think so. No, it's, it's a, a cap toy? gun. Oh, it's a cap gun. It's an old school cap gun where you put the little uh -huh. ring in there and stuff. It's called Madison. It's a Madison 45. It's uh, made in Italy. Oh, that's cool. So this actually, I mean, even though it's just a cap gun, could be a high-end cap gun. All right, y'all. If you ever wanted an 8x10 of Roy Kirkpatrick, I have no idea who that is, but I got a whole box of them, or bag of them. All right, this is kind of neat. That's old school artist that stuff. Uh, I'm curious about that art back there. Let's see if these are in. Oh, look, they're in there. Yeah, okay, I don't know that they're not dried up. Oh, look, this, man, that's a big old drawer. All right, we're going to keep these. These are called one dozen quality writing pencils. All right, y'all, we have, we, are, we don't have a jewelry box or anything for the, there's something in here. Looks like, are right, you ready? Ready. Let's see what's up in this joint. Oh, cool. Oh, is it a sewing machine? Yeah, that's an old oh, that one. that's cool. Singer portable electric sewing machine two two one. Uh, we'll have to look this up, but it looks like it is. Oh, it's very nice. It almost looks like brand new. Besides the dust, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Got some thread in there. It's got the pedal. So there it is. Uh, from ninety five is when they put that note on there. So hey y'all, that's a few bucks. I was looking. Oh, is that that art or that bag says Mont Blanc? Really. So, if we see any pins, we want to watch out. Guys, I popped this open. I'm about to throw this on the truck. There's an old boom box down here that we'll sell. Uh, it looks really clean. All the buttons. Looks like it's got all the switches, knobs. So, that'll definitely bring in a few bucks. And then it looks like we got cassette. Yeah, cassette tape. Uh, original cast, once upon a mattress. What kind of dirtiness is that? <laughs> That's a musical, silly. Is it? Yes. For the boys. Oh, yeah, look. Wizard of Oz. Uh, so, yeah, they definitely... Oh, that explains why they had all the play and orchestra and stuff for records. All right, y'all. Let's dig into this art. Whoa, that's old. We'll do that bag last, but... That is old. That Isn't is it? really old. That's cool. Somebody's going to buy that for sure. So it says. Uh... This picture is for Roy Kirkpatrick, October 1997, by Lamario Kirkpatrick. All right. Oh yeah, that's super cool. That's very familiar. Uh, yeah, is that? Who does that? I forget what his name is. Okay, here we go down here. There's something right here that says something, something, something. <laughs> that's what it says. That's what it says. But yeah, it's pretty. Oh, right here, see, Escher, oh, right here. Oh, Escher, that's right. Escher, yeah, drawing hands, 
published, let's see, copyright 1974, all rights reserved. So this is a 1970s print of that. Okay. This one, this one has a different color. Let's see. This one has a different color. Oh, that's a photo. Okay, never mind. Oh. I saw a signature. Yeah. From way back there. Let's see, made by us, just for us, art.com. So it looks like maybe something they ordered online. All right, let's break into this. This little guy. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's really cool. Cavalier, rustic, whatever. Uh, Dallas 89 for Roy with, what's that say? I think that's written on the glass, maybe? That's really pretty, though. Mm -hmm. Look at that. So that person did this for him? Michael's custom frame. So, hey, y'all, look. There's the name. Paleo. It looks like a real watercolor, doesn't it? Is. It is. No, it's for 100% uh, real. And that's a real signature. And But the artist per, like signed this for him. We're going to have to look this artist up. It's the same person. Look, this is real. That's a painting. Mm -hmm. Signed by that person in 90... Okay, don't know if that means anything. Oh, this is the stuff he had. He's gonna frame this one. Oh, so we'll go okay. ahead and use this to frame that. All right, guys, I didn't show you a lot of these in the last uh, video, I don't think. So what I was saying with the tapes, like he's got all these musical records, but they're like in really good shape. If you didn't see, it might be on Lunker's copy of the first part of this video, but um, we had a lot of sealed vinyl, like Patti LaBelle, like sealed, not just, you know, a lot of times they're cut on the side, you know, like this one, you know, where they just cut it down the center. But these are actually sealed, so go back and check that out. But look at this, y'all. These are in such good condition. Annie, the play. Look at this. I like the other cover on this one better for the Wiz. It's got Michael uh -huh. Jackson. Uh, it's got all of these guys uh, on the front. Uh, oh, well, the Wiz. This is probably just a regular play, so that's why. It's not the actual Michael Jackson. It's not the play. movie. It's the it's musical. The it's the musical. Yeah. Okay. So then we got Sugar. Is that Jamie Lee Curtis? It looks like her, doesn't it? Does it does look like her, but that's too old to be her, isn't it? Peter Stone. Yeah, I don't see her name on there. And look down here. So just a bunch of plays. Uh, Beyond the Fringe. I've heard of that. Purple. Pearly? Oh, Pearly. I thought it said purple. Uh, brown Sugar. So a lot of these, I really, like I said, I'm going to have to look these up. I know that one. Alfred Drake. That's kind of cool. Um, so we'll look these up, like I said, for the 18th time in a row. Yeah, so we are about finished up in this beautiful thing. Just like this beautiful sofa. So let's go into the dump. So look, we got a nasty washer dryer, missing all the stuff. That's about to go to the dump. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that yet because you're not allowed to put those at the dump. So let me show you a few other little things that we kind of found out here. That I didn't show you. I don't know if I showed you the cast iron. Uh, I think this stuff. Yeah, there's Wagner. Uh, number zero. Oh, here's that watch I never showed y'all in the video, but it's actually in here. He he kept all his receipts. But I mean, it's a nice older Seiko. Oh, that is nice. You know, very mm -hmm. nice leathers. Nice on it. He's got the receipts down there. Uh, what else they have? Oh, this tea cart's pretty cool. Uh, look, this thing will dust off and look. The tray's actually in it, which is kind of wild. So it's just super dusty. So I'm going to clean this thing up, and that's definitely going on Marketplace. All right, so last thing we have to do is, well, we forgot our dolly, so I'm about to pay for it. So we're about to bust that dolly off. I'm going to load all the rest of that stuff, and we're out of here. All right, guys, we're going to let you play a little game that we'd like to play. It's called Guess How Much It Costs to Dump This Crap. <laughs> so once we get down here to the dumping area, we'll pop open the door. I'm going to scan it, and then you're going to guess how much it costs to dump this. What is it per pound? Do we know? Oh, no, it's like 50-something dollars per, per ton. Per ton. Per ton. $50 per ton is roughly it. So, hey, we'll let you, we'll let you be the judge. Look at all the dirty birds up there. That's 
what they are. Nasty. Nasty Dallas seagulls. <laughs> Eating trash. Eating trash. Trash seagulls. Oh my gosh, the dirty birds are out today, y'all. Look at the dirty birds. You got any food? I can get them to come over to the truck if I toss something out like it's food wise. I was gonna throw paper, but that'd be me. Y'all look at the dirty seagulls. Sounds like a beach at the dump. Ah, uh, what's up guys? Mine, mine, mine is like they want the trash. <laughs> I ain't got no, actually I got one box of food for you. All right, y'all, here it is. You gotta let us know how much you think it's gonna cost to dump. All right, guys, this is the part of the video where y'all get very upset that I throw some of this stuff away, but look, thrift stores ain't taking it. I ain't got time to sit on it. You want it, it's here. I'll send you the, I'll put the, the, the address to the dump here. You can get it. storage unit game and thrift stores aren't taking all this dirty rat infested pig infested stuff just come to the dump it, watch you'll see it doesn't cost that much and it's so much easier so all right y'all can guess and show them up in here y'all guess how much you think this is going to cost to dump some of this stuff over here is not going that's sellable stuff just right there but all right i'll show you the pile after we're done how about that yeah yes All right guys, so look, we're done. This is all the stuff we're keeping. Doesn't look like, all right, so here's the deal. You gotta guess how many tonnage is that? $50 a ton. Right now, while me and Gina are driving up to pay, put your guess in the comment. All right, y'all, here we are. The true test. Actually, it's not really, I don't know what true test means. <laughs> it's not really a true test. Not really a true test. We are on a giant scale right now, so I hope you put your guesses in. Don't be a cheater. Jesus knows you're lying. Here she comes, y'all. Got the receipt? Got the receipt. Let's just show them so they don't think we're lying. Is our address on there or anything? No. Okay. All right, y'all, here's how much it cost to dump. It was 63 bucks? Uh-huh. Not bad. So a little over a ton? Yeah, 1.1 tons. All right. 